Good morning, folks. We've got several things to hit here today. We've got a start to the earthquake uptick, solar forcing of economic trends and precipitation once again, and an excellent piece on space radiation and the biosphere. Of course, we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where solar flaring did continue. Luckily, the massive sunspot group is turning out of view. We've got a good deal of other active regions on the Earth-facing side, and there's a bit of geomagnetic news as well. We will start there with the geomagnetic conditions where overnight another solar storm developed, but honestly, I do not see the signature of the last CME. It must still be on its way to Earth. So this is a reverberation, which usually shows up 24 hours after a big storm. We'll be watching today for that last impact. No need for concern, just like with the others. The goodbye from that big sunspot group is a long-duration M-class eruption this morning, aimed almost 90 degrees away from the Earth. You can see how many other sunspots we do have, but none of them match the size of the one that's turning out of view on the south, which produced all that solar activity last week and over the weekend. And we had said to watch for a seismic uptick when those solar storms ended. It began near the Guatemala-Mexico border. It has caused landslides and considerable damage. The numbers are still coming in and rescues are ongoing. The first article today hits the solar impact to economic conditions. There have been dozens of studies like this over the years which show that everything from market crashes to investment preference to performance of commodities is tightly linked to activity cycles of the sun. A blog called Armstrong Economics often hits this topic and has tons of more information. Up next, we've got yet another one on solar forcing of precipitation patterns, this time in Nigeria. We have seen these from all over the globe, and this is not the first one for the African region either. All these impacts come through the global electric circuit and from large-scale oscillation modulation. Last but not least, folks, in a new textbook on space radiation, they have a whole chapter on extinctions, the radiation effect on the biosphere of Earth. They hit a lot of different topics, but two of them are the main two impacts that we're expecting with the weakening magnetic field Earth is seeing right now, loss of ozone and increased cosmic rays. We will be doing a special video on this soon, how during magnetic pole shifts, the climate and radiation exposure goes off the charts. Another confirmation of the significance of those changes here. We greatly appreciate your support. Keep an eye out for that special video coming soon. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.